the water in a certain lake has a pH of five. Calculate the concentration of hydronium ions in the water. So we know that hydronium is H3O positive. Okay. Now we know that pH is equal to minus log of concentration H3O positive. We are also told that the pH is five. So we can say five equals negative log concentration of H3O positive. Now, don't panic. I know some of you see logs and you're like, oh no, but it's, it's quite an easy one. So what we do is the following. You put the negative on the left. So it becomes negative five. And then remember that the standard base of a log is a 10. So just put a little 10 there and then you go H3O. And then you just got to remember the order, how to reverse this. So what you do is you start with this part down here. So you say 10 to the power of this one is equal to whatever's inside here. And so that's going to be the concentration of H3O plus. And that's the answer. The answer said, Calculate the concentration of hydronium ions. And so the concentration of hydronium ions is 10 to the negative 5. And then the unit of concentration is mole per decimeter. So we are told that the volume of water in the lake is um, 4 times 10 to the power of 9. That's the volume of water in the lake. Okay, I'll draw you guys a nice little picture. So we've got this lake. All right. And this lake has a volume of four times 10 to the nine. Okay. And maybe, maybe there's a bit of acid in the lake. Okay. There's a bit of acid in the lake. And so what they're going to do is they're going to throw in a little bit of base. So lime is a base and they're going to add it into the water in order to neutralize all the acid. So, you know, the acid can be the hydronium. And so this reaction is going to take place. Then it says, the final amount of hydronium is 1.26 times 10 to the power of 3. Calculate the mass of lime that was added. Haha. -ha. So let me try do my absolute best to try and help you guys to understand what's happening. So let's call this part the beginning. Then we'll have the end. Okay, so remember from the previous question, we've already got some hydronium floating around in this water and the hydronium concentration, remember we said that it has a concentration of 10 to the minus five, okay? And then we also know the volume of this lake, okay? And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna throw in, they're gonna throw in a little bit of calcium um, oxide and we don't, and we don't know how much they're going to throw in. So there's a bit of calcium oxide over here. And the question is, what is the mass of calcium oxide that they added into the lake? Okay. So what we can quickly do is we can calculate, we could calculate how much, how much hydronium moles are there in the beginning of the question, when the beginning. So we can, um, we can put these two together using the formula C equals to N over V. And we know that the concentration of hydronium is 10 to the minus five. The number of moles, we don't know, but the volume of the lake is four times 10 to the power of nine. And so if you had to go work out the moles of hydronium, you would get 40,000 moles. Okay. So that is how many moles of hydronium we have. Um, so we can say here 40,000 moles. Um, okay. Excellent. Then they tell us that in the final, in the final solution, 
there is only 1.26 times 10 to the power of three moles of hydronium. So just to write that as a normal number, that is 1,260 moles of hydronium. See guys, so what's happening is that we started the reaction. We started our reaction um, with 40,000 moles of H3O+. But then what happens? This reaction happens. So that reaction is going to happen. And so obviously, the amount of hydronium is going to become less because it's reacting with the calcium oxide. And that is a good thing because think about it. If the lake is too acidic, like think about the poor fish. They don't do very well with a very acidic environment. So what they do is they add some calcium oxide into the lake and that calcium oxide reacts with the hydronium because that's what acids and bases do. And what, will, what that'll do is it will decrease the amount of acid in the lake. So it will turn the pH back to a normal value so that the fish can carry on um, living and doing their thing. Okay, so this is something that they actually do in real life. Um, they make sure that the pH of the lake remains constant. Okay, or remains at a certain level. Right, so what we need to understand here is that we started off with 40,000 moles of H3O and we ended up with 1,260 moles. So what we need to try and identify now is how many moles of H3O reacted. How many moles reacted? So the way we do that, so we can say the number of moles of H3O which actually reacted would be 40,000 minus 1,260. And that's going to give us 38,740 moles. That is how many moles reacted. Reacted with what? Reacted with the calcium oxide. So what we can now do is we can focus our attention on this area over here and we can say, okay, for every two moles of hydronium that react, one mole of calcium oxide must have reacted. The ratio is one to two. So if I know how many moles of hydronium reacted, then I can work out how many moles of calcium oxide must have reacted. I can just divide by two because the ratio is one to two. So we can say, therefore, the moles of calcium oxide which reacted must be 38,740 divided by two because it's a one to two ratio. And if you work that out, you get 19,000. 370 uh, moles. Okay, 19,370 moles. That's how many moles of CaO or calcium oxide reacted. But they want to know what is the mass? Okay, so we know that you can convert moles into mass pretty easily by just using this formula. Okay, and so we can then say that the moles is 19,370 equals to the mass divided by the molar mass of calcium oxide. So if you had to look on a periodic table for calcium and oxygen, calcium is 40 and oxygen is 16. And so calcium oxide is 56. Okay. And then if you had to go multiply those two together, you're going to get 1084720 grams. Now, for some reason on the memo, they went and wrote it like this. But you guys don't have to do it like that. You can write it as 1084720 grams. OK, 